Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to project number six. I, mean, I got six projects, that's crazy. But in this project, we're gonna make a charm for a necklace that says Tro the Maker, the name of this channel. And I'm gonna be using Corel Draw. I'm not an expert in Corel Draw at all, but I know how to do enough in Corel Draw to get it ready for the glow for it. And I'm gonna show y'all the steps that I take in Corel Draw to get it ready for the glow for it. Then we're gonna jump over to the glow for it software, and I'm gonna show y'all what I do before I cut out or engrave my logos and all that. So let's jump right into it. You got your logo. This logo is the exact size that I want it to be. It looks big on the screen, but really it's not. I got it zoomed in. It's one and a half inches wide and it's three quarters of an inch tall. First thing I do is make a second page. Once I make a second page, I take the logo, I copy it, then I go to the second page and I paste it. I paste it in the same spot that it is on the first page. And you will see why later on. All right, so you gotta remember that the Glowforge engraves black. I don't want this to be engraved. I want this to stand out. I'm gonna use black acrylic. So I want the Troy the Maker to be shiny and I don't want it to be engraved. What I do is I take this, I go up to effect, I go to transform and I just go to invert color. It's gonna make it white. So I go to the second page where it says Troy the Maker and then I take this one, go down here to the outline and I make it about eight. So then I take it and then I convert it to a bitmap. Convert it to a black and white bitmap and press okay. Now it's a bitmap. So then I click it, I go to quick trace right here, click trace and it'll make it solid. The bitmap is behind it. So you go up to object, move to the back. So the bitmap is in the front, take the bitmap, delete it. All black vector right here. So I take this, and that's why this is very important that you don't, you do not move it. You leave it in the same spot. You copy it, go back to the first page, paste it. Then you click it, go up to object, go to order, move to the back. There you have it, that's the logo. But I also need the outline going around it and then I need the part where I can hook my charm to the neck. So I go back over here, I click it, I go over here, click hairline, no fill in it. So I go right here and I press no fill and there you have it. That's the outline going around it. I make me a square to hook my charm to it. I usually go about 0.4, put it in the center. So how I get to the center is I highlight both of them. You press C, it'll center it for you. Pull it down some more like that. Let's change it to a hairline, highlight both of them wedge them together you have the part where you can put the charm in so then i put me a circle in the middle of it i usually go about 0.2 change that one to a hairline put that right in the center also i like both of them press center there you have it and this is going to be the outline for the charm i highlight everything over here group it together and then what i do is that it's going to fit is i highlight the whole thing or select the whole thing copy it go back to the first page, paste it, there you have it. Now that I know that it fit, we're just gonna undo this. So you go to page two, you got your cutout and your outline right here. Right here, this is gonna be engraved. This is what I do when I transfer it over to the glow for it. So what I do is, and I'll export it. The logo as a PNG, I export it to the desktop. And the outline, I export this as a PDF. Now we're on the glow for it software. And the reason why I made the logo PNG and I made the outline PDL is because this is the way that it works for me. But when I do it like this, the PNG, it always be the wrong side. The PDL file, the cutout part, it be the right side. Let me zoom in on it. It be the right side. What I do is I take my, I take my logo and I make it smaller and I put it inside of it. And that's how I do it. Let me zoom in some more. And then you just gotta play with it and get it to fit inside of the logo. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's an easier way to do this, but I haven't figured it out yet. And then I zoom in some more, zoom in some more, and I kind of make sure that it's all inside of it the best I can. Just gotta move it around and play around with it. But I usually get it just, I usually get it just perfect enough where it doesn't really affect it. It'd be like right on it. And that's kind of like how I treat it. Sometimes it'd be a pain in the butt. It works for the most part. It looks pretty good. That's how I do it. That's how I get it ready in the glow for it. Before we go to the glow for it, here's a better look at it. But once I turn the glow for it on, I forgot that it changed colors and you can see it a little bit better. As you can see the outline of it is orange and the engraving part is purple I mean you can play around with the settings and do different stuff but I got it over here as you can see right here it's gonna engrave first and then I'm gonna cut it I got different settings in here because I like it a little bit different but so let's head over to the laser and let's cut it out 
man that was bright glow forge what up we got the black acrylic in here yeah that's the uh that was the rockefeller chain man i'll link it up there somewhere if you want to check it out but yeah let's get to it There it is, man. Try to make her. Nice little charm, man. Let's peel the paper off. Yep, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. All black. That's what I was saying, man. You want the logo to be made right so it engraved what it's supposed to engrave. I went a little deeper on this one also, but you know, it is what it is. Man, there you have it, man. Project number six complete. Man, I tried my best to do that, whatever you want to call it, tutorial, whatever it was. Man, I hope y'all liked it. I did my best. I don't think I'm good at doing tutorials. But if you like this video, man, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already, man, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And I'll see you guys next week in my next project. Hey. When you at Walmart down there, can you pick up me a Ruby's Cube? What are friends for? You're supposed to be my brother. I need a Ruby's Cube.